You want a piece of this, huh? Huh, mister? Sorry. Anytime you drive a car like this, you just know what you got, man. It's like taking a sledgehammer to a watch repair shop. Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's crazy video. You say crazy video, why is it a crazy video? Well, this car has so much power, there is a good opportunity. There is a good opportunity you could get pregnant just walking up near it. That's what we're talking about, the power and potency of this car. I know it sounds funny, but I'm talking about an old school Corvette, right? A 70s vintage Corvette with 700 horsepower, right? tires the size of uh, a small Prevost bus, right? And great paint, great interior, beautiful restoration, just awesome. And the cool thing about it is, if you wanted to make a couple changes to it yourself to uh, make it more what you want, you could do that. And we're gonna talk about that as we go around, but the restoration itself is done and all the hard work is over. We just need to figure out how to get it in your garage. All right, so detail stuff in here we're talking about. For instance, this is kind of cool. These are 17s up front and 15s in the back with, with a really big tire. Why does it have a big tire back there? Because there's a lot of power back here and they didn't make a, a drag radial uh, in this size. So what we could do is if you don't like the look of that, I think it looks great, but some people love what they love and I love to help you get what you love, which makes me even happier, is maybe we move these to the back and we move those to the front and put 15s here and get a size tire that's kind of big. It would look really good. That way it would be a staggered look that way if you don't love that look. We can also get another matching 17 inch for the rear and just have a full set of 17s all the way around. That would be a pretty cool look too. Anyway, the point is that these are expensive wheels and they're really nice looking. Wrapped up inside there are four wheel disc brakes because you got to have a lot of brakes, right? For the kind of power delivery that we have here. Plus we have a lot of modern convenience. This car has almost every option you could possibly get on it. And that's why you want to start with a car like that, a loaded car that was well kept from the beginning and restore it to this level. Let's talk about paint for a second, if you don't mind, right? I think that when we talk about paint, we talk about uh, how good it looks and the kind of time that's put into it. Let's check that out. I like to talk about paint because people have no idea what it takes to paint. The truth of the matter is paint is not wrapped up in the spraying process, it's wrapped up in the prep. And here's how you'll know that that's true. At home, when you fix a nail hole in there and you rushed it right on a Sunday because you needed to go do something and you painted and you came back and you could kind of still see it, it means it's, that wasn't the paint's fault. It was the prep's fault. You didn't prep. You didn't spend enough time doing that. This car here is prep right. Why do I say that? Because I'm looking at the gaps in the car. I'm looking at these hand painted ghost flames. These are ghost flames. You can't really see them that much outside. Uh, and they're a nice little touch to set this car apart from being uh, a regular Corvette. The front and rear spoilers, we have the front spoiler for this. Um, and we're doing this video, the car just arrived, just arrived. We don't even have a description of the car yet, right? So I'm kind of just winging about what I know about the car when we purchase it and the parts that are on order. That's why I was letting you know about the changes you could make right now. But anyway, the paint itself, not only is it, is it primered and sealed, sealed and primered, sorry, backwards, then three coats of silver laid on, wet sanded, then the flames hand painted on, and then everything clear coated over so you can't feel anything. Why do you want to not feel anything? So that you can wash and wax the car all you want and not worry about the flames tearing and, and getting the edges burnt off, right? And feels really, really nice. So a great part of this car, and again, back to the original part where people say, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car, but we don't always know why. This hood is a great reason why. However, this hood is also functional, okay? And here's what I mean by that. So here, we have our blower system here and the hat for uh, the, keeping it all together. This gives us the room to do that. All the components are, are polished under here. Like this is, when I see stuff like this, this is a big difference. And so a lot of people say, oh man, that car costs too much because uh, I saw another car with a big engine in it. Okay, great. Big engines and the rest of the car not done are not a good idea. Let me tell you some things real quick. This is a radiator called a radiator module. It's 50%, sorry, 100% bigger than the original factory radiator. It has dual electric fans in it, right? All of that's designed to keep this cool. Nothing is worse, man, than having a high horsepower car 
and sitting in traffic and it overheating because there's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is push it to the side of the road. This prevents all that from happening, right? Overdrive automatic so you could drive it to the beach if you wanted to. And 700, almost, almost 700 horsepower. They say it's over 700. I didn't dyno it, so I like to say it's around 700 horsepower, right? Around 700 horsepower with your right foot. That's some kind of fun. Oh, hey, how you doing? Didn't know you were standing over there. All right, let's talk about the back of a Corvette. Get rid of this emblem. Everyone in the world knows that this is not a Prius. This is not a Corolla. This is not an F-150. Everybody knows that this is a Corvette. It just says Corvette. It looks like a Corvette. That's one of the things that I love because, you know, you can confuse a Chevelle for like a GTO a little bit from far away, but you could never confuse a Chevelle for a Corvette. The styling of a Corvette is awesome. This rear wing looks good. This exhaust, not only is it good looking, it's functional, you have to have it. When you're pumping that kind of power out of there, you gotta have a big fat pipe, and you have big fat exits on both sides, and a rumble that is amazing. Can't wait for you to hear it outside. I love the look of walking up to the car, but you seeing you walking up to your car, right? because the car is so great looking. However, you're gonna spend most of your time inside of it. So this is what everybody else will see. You and I are gonna to get to see what it looks like when you're driving. So come on in here. This is important stuff too, because if you're, if you're a big guy, like 6'1", 6'2", I'm 6'1", like there's room in here. The tilt wheel makes a huge difference. This is a slightly one inch smaller wheel. So it gives us more room inside here. The carbon fiber trim in here, all new interior carpets, dash, headliner, mirrors, window cranks, sorry, window cranks, uh, window, uh, mirrors, right? Because it has power windows and power locks, right? It's just, this is an awesome car. Dash is all restored too. When I sit in here and at the T-tops make such a difference. Why does it make a difference? Because you have the safety of a convertible, right? Sorry, you get a convertible with the safety of the T-top option and you get to just enjoy the sun and drive and you're wide open and, and safe is all in there. However, I don't really care about safe. I care about speed. I don't care, like I cut the seat belts out of cars. I smoke two, three packs at a time when I'm driving cars, right? Throwing empty butts out. I'm just kidding, I don't do any of that stuff. What I mean by that is have some fun in the car, enjoy the power of it, enjoy the sound. Go for a drive, man. Leave work, shut that cell phone off, put this thing in drive, and roll on down the road. Perfect. That was awesome. <laughs> you gotta be coming in. All right, so we close up this video. I, we talked about a lot. And I'm sorry if I rambled on, but it's a cool car. And when you spend a lot of money on a car, you need to know the details. All right, so details like amazing paint, probably twelve to fifteen thousand dollars just in paint alone. Drivetrain we know was almost $20,000, right? We had uh, that beautiful supercharger hanging off the side, those beautiful aluminum heads, and everything is done properly too. It's not like they just shoved the giant engine in the car with drum brakes in the rear, right? They gave a lot of thought, overdrive automatic, right? All of the things to make it go down the road, power delivery the way it's supposed to. Then some luxury thrown in too, man. Air conditioning, power windows, power locks, uh, T-tops, the digital sound, tilt wheel, just nice stuff for guys our age to go for a cruise. This car sounds good. And when you hit the gas, man, you're going to surprise a lot, a lot of people. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this amazing Pro Touring Corvette. And if you don't mind, uh, hit the like button down below. That helps us get the message out there. Subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And uh, if you don't mind, share that with your friends as well. And I will see you on the test drive. All right, so what is the supercharger? A lot of horsepower and a fabulous exhaust sound like, we got to know. You want a piece of this, huh? Huh, mister? Sorry, just anytime you drive a car like this, you just know what you got, man. It's like taking a sledgehammer to a watch repair shop. This is some kind of wow. Anyway, not only does it go straight well, it handles well. We're talking about four wheel independent suspension, big brakes, and, uh, and this. Whoa, right? That's half throttle. I'll let you push it all the way to the floor when you get it, because I'm not trying it in your car, but I'm telling you, I'm having fun right now. <laughs> How you doing? Anyway, hope you guys had fun on that test drive. I know I did. I'll see you uh, on the next one.